Hey everyone, welcome to episode 8 of Tech Careers. Today, I've got another international student who came to Canada after doing his high school in 2021 and did a computer systems technician course, which is a two-year diploma. I'll leave the rest of the details to him. But yeah, let's introduce Anj uh, to the audience. Hey everyone, I'm Anj. First of all, thank you, Rishabh, for having me here. No worries. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I came here in 2021 as a uh, as doing like plus two from India, my high school. So it was like during COVID. So I opted for a computer system technician program here in St. Lawrence College in Kingston. So due to COVID, like I did my first semester in India uh, as online. Hmm. And uh, so the rest of the program was also online over here as well. So yeah, it went pretty well. I graduated in 2022, June. Yeah. And uh, yeah, during my college, I got an internship opportunity as well. So I did uh, my IT support technician uh, internship in Quixel company. It was in Ottawa, so it was for four months. So I used to like work there for two days a week hmm. and the rest of the three days was my college like it was my last semester and uh, yeah that was like I, after that I completed my uh, diploma and uh, was graduated in June. Okay. Yep. Yeah so you didn't ever go to college physically? No like uh, there was no like in-person lectures or something mm -hmm. like that. I used to go to like college for like uh, studying and doing my other stuff yeah. other stuff but like not like attending any lectures like, or something yeah. That is, yeah, that is, I guess, an interesting time to, yeah. <laughs> um, especially after doing high school, mm -hmm. you want to ex explore and, you know, go through the experience of college. And since it was all remote, like it didn't serve the purpose, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so your course for your diploma was fast track. Yeah. Uh, you, not only you did one semester in India, but then... You came here in 2021 and then graduated like in a year. Yeah. So like it was a January intake and it started in 2021 January and uh, ended in April 2022. So yeah, it was a fast track. Like no in breaks or like, um, so, like there was no, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Like I had like around two weeks between first semester, second semester and other semesters, but like not a long vacation or something. Yeah, so not the four month summer break. Yeah. yeah. Um, but just a semester gap, I yeah. guess. Yeah, just um, like two weeks, yeah. Yeah. And funny enough, the same diploma was called Computer Networking and Technical Support, which is yeah. what I did. Um, but yeah, mine was not fast track, so I had a four month summer break, which was good, I guess. Yeah. Um and we also got to go to the college and, you know, experience uh, that life. Yeah, I think I missed that, like, life, like, college life. I haven't, like, went there for a single day. So, yeah, that was something. <laughs> I, I have a question for you, half, like, I'll ask it after um, regarding this. Um, since you haven't, you know, gotten the chance to experience the college life. But before we go forward, um, what was, I want to know, what was Anch like? when he was, you know, a kid. So when you were in school, did you have, also like, feel free to tell what you do right now, and then we can talk about the journey. Okay. But you can tell them about the current role that you are in. Okay, so right now I'm a software developer at Bell. So I started this role uh, this May, like May 2023. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so I think it's already a month over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently enjoying it a lot. Nice. And uh, yeah, before this, I was a field technician at Bell as well. So I worked as a field tech at around eight months. Okay. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And we'll we'll go into the kind of the journey that he went through. But yeah, so how was Anch like in, in, in school? Uh, like, do you, since you work in tech now, like, did you have an interest back in India? Um, in, in any programming languages, did you code or like, were you, I don't want to sound like offensive, but were you a nerd? Like, did you like open up computers and stuff or 
you didn't know that you will go into computer at that point um like when i was uh off like before 10th i was not aware of like computers like programming mm. stuff and all that stuff so after doing my 10th standard uh i opted for non medical yep and uh, i got to know like more about computer at that time mm. but still i was like not not sure that i was going to do this okay and after uh, like completing my 12th standard i started doing like html and css like responsive web designing on uh, free code camp mm-hmm. as like i was free due to covid and all that stuff so i got to know a lot more about like computer stuff and tech stuff during that period and uh, after completing that so i got to know like about cloud from you okay yeah. so i started like working on it going like i took few courses on udemy like cloud computing 101 mm-hmm. and uh, like basics of cloud computing so yeah from that time i like my uh, focus shifted to like tech oh, and kind of- yeah So yep so that's why I opted for computer system technician here. Yeah, yeah look, no that that sounds good but yeah like no you know because I've had a few people on the show that were like coding at 13 14 and they knew they always wanted to be in tech um which is not true um I guess in both of our cases like I loved I loved engineering side of things so I would you know open up a computer or open up an electronic part to see how it was built and like try to break it down just for curiosity but i didn't know like this can be a profession yeah. or this can be a career yeah, like, that i can pursue at 13 14 yeah i was not not sure yeah. <laughs> yeah. no i think i wanted to be something yeah. in sports <laughs> yeah yeah me too yeah, yeah. i wasn't too sports a lot yeah yeah awesome awesome so that is a bit about your background um So you did your high school you chose you opted science um for any of our western um audience which is what non medical is so uh, you have math physics and chemistry uh no bio but yeah so folks who are interested in engineering um careers they they opt for non medical uh in in high school back in india so that's that covers your education um and then we got a little bit of information from you regarding your internship mm-hmm. which again since it was kind of a similar diploma that I did it was part of the curriculum so you have to do an internship in order to graduate which I is awesome uh, more programs and if you're opt- opting for a program as an international student please go for one with the co-op uh it helps a lot in landing your first job after you, you graduate so you did your internship back in 2022 2023 for four months for four months january to april yeah and it was tech support yeah it was a tech support yeah okay so like my college did help me in getting that opportunity mm-hmm. so i just reached out to the ceo so the company was like not not too big so i was directly hired by the ceo of the company and was in touch with him so i used to work remotely over there yeah so uh, it was like um i used to go through the tickets and all that stuff yeah and so your typical like it support job um what what was the interview process like was it just like how many interviews did you have so for the internship it like the interview process was pretty easy like uh, i had just one interview around and uh, so like during the interview i was asked like basic questions about my college about my academics and all that stuff and a little bit of about like do you know about what help desk role is yeah. uh what you're going to do what's your what will be your duties in it and uh, i guess that was pretty much it and uh yeah so just so that the audience have any you know tips or suggestions if they're going through a diploma what you think made you stand out during your interview like why did they choose you and not somebody else okay so for this i'll just say like just reach out to them uh, if like uh, like as i said my college did help me so they like provided an email to to my class like all the class so yes. there was around 30 to 40 individuals over okay. there 
So I directly reached out to them like when I received the email and uh, I saw this is an opportunity. I just uh, directly emailed the CEO that I'm interested and in, uh, I just want to uh, get my internship and all that stuff. So I did send him a resume and all that stuff. And yeah, he, um, I think after a couple of days, he replied back and wanted to have an interview with me. So just reach out to the person. Uh, the person. Yeah, and uh, be more excited about it, I can say. Yeah, so you like did your um, research and stuff. You jumped on to the opportunity as soon as it was shared by the college yeah. and not waited, which I guess like it shows like the, I don't know, the hunger in you to like get that internship. Okay. Um, did you have any certifications uh, at this point? No, before before like this, uh, no certifications at all. Yeah. So no certifications, but did, you had some at, customer. Uh, yeah, I did have like customer experience. I was yeah. working at Tim Hortons at that time. And uh, I had customer experience. I did went through like some courses, but like didn't went through any exam or any certification. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so no certifications, but yeah, I just um, went through it and I was hired as an intern. Yeah. So I, I what I want to point out is like soft skills help a lot. And if you have retail or food industry experience where you have handled customers, it show like it tells whoever is hiring you, even if it's for internship, that they do have some skills, right? Because you have to be patient. You know, you need to know how to communicate to customers. And I'm I'm going to guess that you did have some uh, rude customers at yeah. Tim Hortons every now and then and you knew how to handle it, right? Yeah, so yeah, like we used to handle like a lot of customers daily, mm -hmm. like all kind of customers. So yeah, so that, that really helped a lot. Like it built my like, uh, customer skills, like how to manage them, how to control the situation and all that stuff. So yeah, I think that pretty much helped me. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, like working at the gas station, one thing that really helped me is having a conversation mm -hmm. yeah. because people would come up and say, Hey, like what are you up to? Like, how's your day going? And coming from India, we are not like, I was not comfortable, like answering those questions. But then I realized they're trying to have a conversation. And I think that really helped once I like interned and joined a company to like, you know, get accustomed to the Western culture, mm -hmm. um, which is way different yeah. <laughs> than, than we are um, accustomed to back in India, yeah. which is good. So, so far you got your internship, you spent four months. Yeah. Um, they didn't had a full-time opportunity, I'm guessing. And that's why you joined Bell. Um, like after um, completing my internship, um, I was free for around two months. I, I didn't have any job at that time. So I was looking for jobs and uh, I was uh, hired in June at Gatestone. Gatestone. Okay. So Gatestone is a, a third party company. So it hires individual for uh, the com the other company. So they, mm -hmm. so I was indirectly working for Shaw as a technical support representative. Okay. And uh, yeah, so as you said, like uh, the internship company, they was not hiring at that point. So yeah, I didn't got any chance over there. But yeah, after two months, I got an in uh, opportunity as a TSR and uh, I worked there around four months. Okay, so IT support, internship, tech support, tech support yeah. role at a third party vendor who gives tech support for other companies. Yeah. Um, and then four months as an intern. And I guess that helped you land your Gatestone job because you have yeah. a four month internship in IT support. Yeah, yeah, internship really helped me a lot. Like before internship, there was nothing on my resume. Yeah, yeah. So tech related. Yeah, tech related. So I think like if I used to apply, I, I didn't get like any any reply back, like nothing at all. So yeah, internship did help me. It, like gave uh, my resume a standout. Yeah, yeah. like uh, I did something. I had an experience. So yeah, I think Gatestone job was the uh, like my internship. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But the internship was not paid. No. So yeah, that that's internship one thing yeah. that's not, I guess it's not as bad as, you know, not having anything on your resume, but 
the co-op program and this um, diploma, the the four months that you work for, and it's part time, right? You go yeah. in for three, two yeah. to three days. That's part time. Yeah. Um, but you don't get paid, which I guess is okay. But you know, there there will be some folks that will say, you know, unpaid internships are not uh, great. So. It is, we, we already know that yeah. once you like join the program, they, they tell you that, that there will be a co-op that is required, but it will not be paid. Um, but I can see how it can impact, especially international students, because now you, like for you, you were working at Tim's, I was working at gas station, like we couldn't do more hours there, right? Because we had college mm -hmm. and now we have this internship that we have to work for. Um, so yeah, I know it can get hard financially, but as, you know, and she also said it helps land your first full-time job. Yeah. Awesome. So four months at Gatestone, and then you work as a field technician at, at Bell. Bell. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell me, tell me about that. Like, how did you heard about the opportunity, and what was the interview process like? Okay. So for field technician, um, I think I applied it in twenty twenty two August. Okay. And uh, I got an uh, opportunity and the interview process was like not too difficult. Mm -hmm. So there was two rounds. The first one was the that the recruiter told me all about the job and duties like I will be doing. And uh, went through my resume, like uh, my academics, like where did I study it, what was all about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, also had a few questions about my internship and my previous job as a tech support in Gatestone. So after all that, the second round was about like uh, about the job. Like uh, they told me that you will be doing this. Okay, it, it's a physical job and all that. Like you'll be going to certain locations every day. You will driving this like particular bell vehicle and all that stuff. So I agreed to that. And after that, like they asked me, um, how long will you stay here? And, like at uh, the company, like yeah, the, yeah. I think the main focus was that like uh, they was hiring like the, uh, it was a massive hiring. I see. And uh, so they wanted like individuals to stay, just not to like come and, come and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was their main focus at that time, and uh, other, otherwise it was good. And uh, yeah, I was hired in September, so I okay. joined, so I joined there at September twenty twenty two. And uh, yeah, I had a few weeks for training and then I was working as a field deck in the field, yeah. Okay, yeah. And I I know we we talked a bit about this personally, that, you know, it is hard in winters mm -hmm. yeah. to be outside and, you know, install cables and fiber and stuff. Yeah, like in winters, like the main problem is snow. So yeah, the first of thing is you have to drive. Yeah. And, and winters, like uh, there's snow everywhere. You have to walk, you have to be outside like for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was pretty harsh at that time. And uh, like, as you said, I have to like climb poles, do like um, wiring stuff and all that stuff. So yeah, I think it was pretty harsh in winter, but otherwise it was a good job. Like no micromanage or something like that. Yeah, no toxic workplace. Yeah. Um, so you, you basically enjoyed your time in this role yeah yeah it, just setting aside the winter part which <laughs> yeah it was a different experience because uh, my previous job was completely and different from this one i was working from home remotely yeah doing tech support for the customers and all that stuff so when i switched to this job it was completely different it was a it was a good experience i can say and uh, yeah i did enjoy it yeah, you still had that customer interaction, yeah. but it was not supporting them. It was more like installation. Installation, yeah. Um, and uh, troubleshooting. Troubleshooting and yeah. stuff. But, okay, so that's interesting because I, I'm hearing this a lot from like other early career folks or early career professionals who are just starting their first job mm -hmm. is they they want to be in office Mm -hmm. I won't say every one of them is saying this, but I feel like being in office or being in the field helps you a lot when it's your first job. Yeah. So that's why I think, like you said, with your Gatestone job, you didn't enjoy it as much because yeah. you were just, you know, at home, nothing 
huge change apart from that now you have to sit on a desk with a computer from eight to five. Yeah. Um, not to say that like the task itself was not interesting because you know you sometimes get an issue that's interesting and you want to troubleshoot it. But yeah, I feel like being in the office would have had a different yeah. uh, experience. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Like because being in the office, you get to uh, network with people. Yeah, you get to know more about them and uh, like. So that's why I just uh, wanted to go out because I was doing like my, as you said, eight to five job working on the computer mm -hmm. after graduating. Yeah. So there was nothing new because in college as well, I was, it was online. Remote. And uh, so there was nothing for me to go outside, meet with people. Mm -hmm. So that's why I shifted to field technician. Okay. And uh, it was pretty good. I used to meet with my colleagues and yeah. uh, interact with customers daily. And yeah, I pretty much enjoyed it. Yep. Interesting. So I'm I'm gonna so after this you said you worked eight months as a field technician mm -hmm. and then now you're working as a software developer focused on infrastructure yeah. at the same company. Yeah. Um how did that transition happen? What were some things you did in eight months that led to that transition to happen? And also like Tell tell us all about like certifications you did, resources you used. Um, I know you mentioned Free Code Camp when you were in India, um, because I used Free Code Camp when I was in tech support to mm -hmm. learn about you know web and how HTML, JavaScript works, yeah. how basically the web works. So I feel like all these free resources that we are pointing out to really help. Yeah. Uh, and they're all free, which is the great part is like, you don't have to pay anything. It's just the time you need to invest. Um, but yeah, um, so tell me what happened in those eight months that made you, not made, but like that led you to this role that you are in now. Okay, so when I was a field technician at Bell, so I like before, before, before like working in Bell, I thought like work, uh, getting a job in Bell and getting an internal transition will be like quite easier than applying for like cloud rules or externally. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it's a little difficult if you're an external, like if you are individual not working in the company. So that was my main focus at first time. So that's why I went for a field technician. And uh, before that, like during my college, I did two certification in AWS. It was uh, AWS Cloud Practitioner and uh, AWS Solutions Architect Associate. This was... During your internship, like in the during, semester? During my internship, yeah. Okay. I did it in 2022 uh, between January to April. So I did two certifications at that time. Okay. And yeah, that pretty much like gave me an exposure to cloud. Like yeah. Like what cloud is and all that. And I also attended like AWS Summit back in yeah. 2022, June. So that also provided me like to network with people, get and learn, yeah, and, learn and, and all that stuff. So I was uh, like really into it. Also, like you gave me a lot of guidance, uh, like what what should I do, what should I learn, and uh, yeah, that pretty much helped me a lot. So I was like focusing on cloud when yeah. I was doing my field technician work. So I think I used to study two to four hours a week. Okay. Uh, uh, side by side, doing my job and all that stuff. Yeah. Used to read like blogs and all that stuff. Go through YouTube videos. Yeah, because you already have, like, I think certification-wise, you were good. You had the cloud practitioner, which I tell students, especially it's a great foundational level certificate. Yeah. And then you had the solutions architect, yeah. which is great, you know, being a student, having a solutions architect, because yeah. you need a lot of knowledge in that certificate. Yeah. Um, but it's not impossible, uh, like you did it, so... Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, reading blogs and YouTube videos because you already have these certifications. Yeah. Now you're just gaining, like, experience. Yeah, experience, yeah. so, uh, like, I also had, like, hands-on experience. Um, I deployed my personal website. Mm -hmm. uh, I did, like, cloud resume challenge. Yep. You helped me with that. <laughs> Thanks. No worries. And <laughs> That's why I made the videos. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was helping, I think I helped a few people, and then we'll learn to cloud. Yeah. Um, we have folks that reach out saying, hey, like, I'm stuck on this part. Um, and I know Gwen did 
the Azure version. So like yeah. her Azure version for Cloud Resume Challenge was all on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So she can tell people like go there and figure it out. Um, but I was just telling people individually like, hey, like let's hop on a call. With Ansh it was easy because uh, we live in the same apartment. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he would ask me and I'm like, okay, maybe this DynamoDB thing is not working or whatever. Yeah. But that's when I decided, I'm like, maybe I should create a video series about this um, mm -hmm. so that I can t tell people, like, go look there instead of helping uh, everyone individually because it takes time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you have... Two certifications. Two yeah. certifications. You have hands-on experience now. Yeah. You have your portfolio website that you can tell yeah. in your interviews that, hey, this is a project that's deployed in AWS. Yeah. Um, you... Mm -hmm are familiarizing yourself with different architectures by watching YouTube videos and yep. going through blogs. Yeah, so like after that, um, I did start documenting them. Okay. I used GitHub. I yep. used like my personal notes. I documented that on GitHub. I also like provided links on YouTube so that like if a recruiter is looking in my profile, then he can see the things I am doing. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so I was like studying for from seven six to seven months okay daily like doing like some stuff going through aws azure and linux so that like pretty much gave me an idea of what i'm i'm looking for a job like what i'm looking into a job like i what i What's want to do yeah. next so yeah th uh, these all things i did for my learning and gaining more skills and uh, after that like on linkedin i saw a post Okay. I I was a like I was following a recruiter, uh, and yeah, well, yeah. yeah, he was already like a cloud manager. Okay, and uh, I saw his post on LinkedIn that they are hiring for a like new grad, okay. who just graduated, and uh, uh, is looking for a cloud role. Okay, so I I went through that like description, job description, and all that stuff, and uh, I just uh, like applied for that one. Mm -hmm. And I also sent that recruiter message about about my resume, what I'm looking for, and all that stuff. But this, so this uh, this person is the hiring manager, right? He's not like just recruiter. He's also yeah, he, like a cloud team yeah, manager. Yeah, he's a manager. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a hiring manager. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, I just sent him a text message about my resume and all that stuff. And uh, after like a couple of days, he replied back and. Uh, he said, like, we can jump on an interview and you okay. can, like, talk more about this job and about your resume and all that stuff. So I was ready about it and uh, I did. So there was, like, a four days gap between. And luckily, interview. Yeah, luckily I was, like, uh, offered that four days. So I started... Oh, at your yeah. field technician job. Yeah, okay. yeah, so I had, like, four days off. So I was studying, like, like about um, cloud and all that stuff. I went through like I did some hands-on and all that. Yeah. So just to be like more confident in the interview. And uh, yeah, so on the interview date, uh, it was like uh, I had like few cloud questions, few about my uh, uh, college internship. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, the second round was like they asked me questions about like cloud, what the service do, how can you manage this, and all that stuff. They also gave me an overview, like what you what will we will be expecting, like and the job, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so I did that confidently, and uh, I think that made a like. I, I at that time I also got selected in AWS Cloud Community. Yeah, the Community Builder program. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that also made an impact on them because as I was uh, working for like community as well, I was yeah, in them. Yeah, like not your job, but you were really invested in cloud. Like, yeah. that just shows that you're in the community. Yeah. yeah. Like, I was working really hard on, like, other stuff. Like, not working just for a job and all that. Mm -hmm. Going through certifications, doing blogs. And uh, so, yeah, they that really impacted them. And uh, so, just, like, a few couple of questions about cloud services and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think that was pretty much about the interview. And uh, after, like, a week, I got a job offer from them nice. that they are hiring me as a software developer okay. uh, in infrastructure. And uh, so, yeah, I was really uh, got 
excited about it that like the hard work did paid off yeah and uh, yeah so i went for it and uh, yeah so right now like uh, as i said i started this this month only and uh, yeah it's going pretty well i do like like i'm not doing a lot of stuff right now because mm-hmm. just, like onboarding is going on yeah so training and yeah training and all the stuff and, yeah like, and stuff yeah yeah but like the team is really good and uh, i'm really enjoying it nice i i'm going like couple of days to the office and working remote as well okay so it's hybrid yeah so it's hybrid yeah and uh, yeah so that that was my journey from being a field technician to a software developer in the same company bell yeah nice nice and then i have to ask this but how did you i know you you used bits so he didn't go through the entire learn to cloud because yeah and like he already got the job so like in doesn't make sense right um but like i know you went through linux yeah so you, yeah i did follow that path like linux and then networking, fundamental yeah. networking and then getting like basic cloud certification yeah just for an overview and doing hands on activities and all that stuff so yeah i like learn to cloud i did went through it i did went through your live streams Oh yeah, the one yeah that we used to do with Gwen. Yeah, yeah. So that also helped me like getting to know more about like what's internal thing about cloud. What should we do next? Yeah, and uh, yeah. So like all the resources did help me at the end, and uh, yeah, and I'm pretty much grateful for that. <laughs> no, it's all good. So eight months, you worked as a field technician. Yeah, and then in eight months you. Mm-hmm. shifted to mm-hmm. a cloud role mm-hmm. which the title is very interesting to me it's call software developer yeah. infrastructure yeah which is i guess awesome for you yeah. um and yeah i i think like there are a lot of people out there that are trying to make this transition um and this should probably help uh, i think there were some valuable insights in in like the things that you did yeah. that helped you mm-hmm. be here and as I'm a huge advocate of trying to transfer internally because it's easy yeah. um you the, the company already knows you right yeah. um in his case I, I feel like bell is huge yeah like when when I did it at printfleet or eci it was easy because there were only 50 people so they knew like okay rishab is yeah. tech support but he wants to go into cloud so the cloud team knew me whereas here like your hiring manager didn't know yeah. who you were yeah. before yeah. like after you introduce yourself and that also shows the power of like grabbing the opportunity because you did same during your internship, internship yeah um and now you did that with linkedin uh for the cloud role that you found and you were like let's let's go and like grab this opportunity and yeah send a message and see if it works out which it did yeah so yeah i think having a plan is awesome Mm-hmm. but execution i feel like is uh, the, main the main yeah, yeah. point right awesome awesome great great story you're doing great uh yeah. it's been what two years yeah two it years. has to be two years two it's years. less yeah. than two years yeah. um you're already working in cloud which was your goal mm-hmm. so kudos to you and Congratulations uh from me and as well as Gwen I I did talk to her mm-hmm. um she she was really happy So yeah I hope this gives you some tips and advice that you can work on and yeah this was uh, the journey of Ansh from being an intern I guess being an international student yeah. being an intern tech support field technician Yeah. and then software developer uh, focused on cloud awesome so i have got some uh, rapid fire questions for you sure um what is your favorite programming language um, i'll say python okay okay i like that answer uh, <laughs> what is your preference when it comes to windows mac or linux pc so like um so i'm i'm not like been with mac a lot yeah so i'll i'll say windows I, i've been with linux uh, but i find windows like for your daily use for, for the windows, windows. Yeah. okay yeah okay awesome awesome um and then 
one great thing that you would like to tell the audience about working in tech? Like, what is one great thing that you love uh, about working in tech? So for me, like working in tech, it was uh, really amazing because the first thing I was like my team teammates, they was really helpful. Like I didn't got anyone who used to micromanage me or the person who like is doing something that I start to hate the job. So yeah. I, yeah. And uh, the other great thing about tech is that it's hybrid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you have the opportunity yeah. to. Yeah, a lot like a lot like not a lot of jobs have this, so you have to be in person. So I think that's a plus point for me. I I, I think like going to the office and working from home like gives you a lot of productive time. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. But Money. yeah, me too. yeah, <laughs> Money, yeah. That's... Yeah, I feel like it's it's hard in other professions to. So not to give any numbers. I don't know if you're okay, but. With sharing this, um, I'll just share the percentage. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, whatever he earned as a field technician, you're making double now of that, right? Yeah, m- more than double, yeah. Okay, so more than 100% uh, is what he's trying to say. Almost 2 x Yeah. more than 2 x his salary in eight months from going from field technician to uh, the software developer role now. And I think that's only... To be honest, I don't know of any other profession that you can do that. If someone in the audience do know that, please let me know. But I think that's doable only in tech without, you know, like spending a lot of money, money. on education. Yeah. Um, awesome. Awesome. So yeah. that was Ansh. Uh, he had a great, you know, tech career journey so far. Um, I wish you luck for the future. Um, are you... Mm-hmm. Do you know what you're interested in? And like, what are some things that you are looking to explore in the near future? Um, like in my career, you're saying? Yeah, like, so first you had the idea of, you know, this cloud. Mm-hmm. So you were learning cloud, you were trying to get better at it. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the thing like you would love to focus on in the future? Like, is it AI? Okay. Is it? DevOps. So for right now, I think I'll, I'll, uh, there's a lot of things for me to learn in this job. Yeah. And uh, but in the future, I think uh, maybe DevOps because okay. it's it's somewhere related to this position. Yeah. And uh, it will really help me to grow like step by step. Yeah. And uh, maybe if you go like a lot further than learning like AI and uh, machine learning. Yeah. yeah. Because it's it's like really hot in the market right now and uh, a lot of companies are using it. Mm-hmm. So maybe that, but it's like, it's a far goal. But okay. like right now, focusing on this job, like learning more and more daily and uh, then maybe switching to DevOps. Nice. So he has his goal set. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. Uh, thanks for sharing your journey and being on the show. Thank you. Um, yeah, I hope you uh, get some valuable insights and tips and suggestions from Ans journey. This was episode eight. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.